More than a week since Hurricane Maria hit, there are signs the relief effort in Puerto Rico is picking up. Trump administration officials say with most power lines and cell towers down, the lack of electricity and communication has made coordinating help difficult. CBS's Nika Batiste has more. A three-star Army general is spending his first full day in Puerto Rico sent to support the hurricane response. Lieutenant General Jeff Buchanan will help coordinate the more than 7,000 troops and 10,000 government workers trying to rebuild, restore power to the island, and distribute clean water and food. The relief effort is under control. It is proceeding very well. Acting Homeland Security Secretary Elaine Duke is among those in the Trump administration who is praising the government's response, as is the president himself via Twitter, saying in part FEMA and first responders are amazing. Residents of the island, though, say more than a week since Hurricane Maria hit, help is scarce and disorganized. Laura Brown says she's sending her children to Miami on board a cruise ship evacuating locals. She's worried about their health and safety at home. Government officials in D.C. say the problem isn't getting supplies to the island anymore. It's getting them from the ports to the people. Clearing roads is one issue. There's still a shortfall there, though, and that is drivers for all those trucks. So we are pushing personnel in to augment state and local authorities to continue to push those commodities. To help support with medical needs, the Navy's hospital ship, the USNS Comfort, leaves from Virginia this afternoon on a five-day journey to Puerto Rico. Nikki Batiste for CBS News. Homeland Security says 51 of these 69 hospitals on the island are now open. President Donald Trump is scheduled to visit Puerto Rico on Tuesday.